Hello, this one is not a beer guide. This is an attempted speedrun in a hardcore mode with lightning arrow charge release. I prepared most of the stuff. I prepared basically my whole skill, skill board before the run. And they prepared some of the unique items, but nothing else. Even with that, it took me 7 hours, but it took me 7 hours because I was talking too much in the stream and I started to test some stuff, plus I was starving that day. I had like 2 lunches, so if that wasn't the case, I should have done this in like 5 hours or so. Of course, when you run this on the main and um, at the start of the season, most likely for an average player with like somewhat decent build, you can look at like 8 or 9 hours run. If you're doing something like a wheel slash and you know what you're doing, you might be able to finish those acts in like 6 hours or close to 5. It really depends on how much game knowledge you have. But on this one it took me 7 hours. It was a little bit sad but you know. I was doing this speedrun speed basically to test the barrier build. I really wanted to do barrier build. And I did barrier build after I finished leveling up to 100 and I was not happy about it. Barrier build requires so much investment, it's crazy. When I was running this, I, I enchanted some of the items. Cause running without base armor or base dodge is, is a bad idea. Even if my resistances were kinda good in this run, because of the unique items, Having low armor or like not enough HP, you're definitely gonna die somewhere, someone is gonna one-shot you. In this case, it wasn't as bad because I had so much damage, I was almost one-tapping all the bosses. It was really fast. Boss, boss fights was, were really fast. I didn't level up every single of my link and skill room. I tried to keep my lightning arrow and charge release as max, uh, max possible level, but... On the links, I only focused on flat damage and on attack speed. That's what matters the most early. Actually, I should have removed some of my links. I was losing so much mana, it didn't make any sense to run 6 links this early into the game. Maintaining your mana is gonna give you more damage than just like having more links. And when you can sustain those links, it's just gonna get worse. I fixed that issue with uh, convert mana later into the game, but it took some time. So I killed the Christian. This is this is this was the point where I got most of my damage actually. I test tested the run before I equipped my charms. I had so good charms prepared. I was doing around like 600, 500k on my level. I didn't test on high level targets. It didn't really matter. I just wanted to see the absolute change in my damage. And after I equipped my charms, I was around 1.7 mil or so. So it was decent damage increase, and the damage got even bigger going later. I didn't went for the blessing effect, I could have done only like caster charms and went for 140, but it would have been a bad idea, cause damage amplification this early into the game doesn't do much actually. Picking up crit, crit rate crit damage or just damage multiply gives me more damage than just damage jump. I didn't show the damage after I equipped my charms, I lost the clip somewhere. But I was doing a lot more damage. Those jumps saved my run, basically. <clears throat> yeah, I was one tapping every single boss. I was having fun at this stage. This is where my speed run started to pay, pay dividends. I was running fast, like Act One to Five, but uh, much slower than Act uh, Six to Ten. By the way. 6 to 10 is really fast, it only took me like an hour or so, a little bit more than an hour. The longest one was of course Act 11, even after the shortcuts, after the updates on the Act 11 is still way too long. This one, I checked the damage, it was around I think 4 mil or so. It was a really good one. This one, this run was, I tested with Vital Strike, which doesn't matter actually. Vital Strike, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice damage increase with enhanced, right? But I cared more about my non-enhanced damage. And my non-enhanced was around 4 mil at this stage, basically in Act 10. 
I did a mistake on the Serpent's Run. I shouldn't have... Uh, I should have ha my Vital Strike and just one tap this guy. But yeah. Uh, I went uh, for Elemental Damage Amplification on, th on this one. So I went for Sabda instead of going for Acuban. But that's only because I had so much damage. It didn't make a lot of sense for me to go for the Lightning Orb for just like damage relic. Elemental damage jump was more damage at this stage for me. It's not gonna be for most of the players that start like the first and the main character. And you won't be able to even pick up the elemental damage jump. So the, the correct choice is to go... Akban and pick up damage one. I switched some of my skill board. I picked up some of the links from my main account, but not too many. And I was kind of holding back leveling because I actually had everything leveled up. I just couldn't equip at the max level. But this was a fast one. The later bosses were even faster than the lo lower act ones. Because my damage started to scale. I started to pick up specialization points. I started to pick up more damage on my zodiac nodes. It was hella fast. After this one, I actually tested my damage again. Just to check. To check, I think I checked my, I did um, charm upgrade slots, which basically moved me to 3x140 blessings, which like was extra 45 damage amplification. Act 15 boss was kind of, there is so many intermissions, and this is not the only boss that has way too many intermissions, way too many downtime. But yeah, I actually didn't even check how much damage I would take because I didn't even have my Chaos Res capped, but I knew I had enough damage just to push it. Yeah, I fixed my Zodiacs, I went for Convert Mana, I just couldn't sustain my mana anymore. Yeah, this is a quick one. I increased the level to 110 by the way. This is 110 dummy because I knew I'm gonna start doing maps. And map starts at 105 level, so I wanted to check my damage on the correct level. This is some juicy rewards from the map, from all the acts. Yeah, this is this is where I got most of my damage. This is where I started to push it a little bit. Even did some enchant on the charms, so I could, would have more damage. <clears throat> it took me a while to see which blessings to pick up. But yeah, in the end they fixed that thing. After this one I tested my damage again, and the damage was really good by the way. Damage was really good, but it makes sense, because... Every single, every single charm was basically crit rate, crit damage. I got some nice increase in here. With this one, it like around. If you're doing around 10 mil, you can actually start speed running the maps. It's not a big deal. Yeah, one turn again. Picked up seal of crit equipped. If I was using illusion arrow, which was converted to fire damage, I would have had even more damage. But I was kind of not that thirsty for those damage numbers. I just wanted to check my base damage. Yeah, it was around 13 mil or so. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one and see you in the next one.